I'm utterly impressed um, every day I come to work because I get to see and learn from people like you all. The intellect in this room is pretty amazing. I'm not a rail person, so I've learned more today than I probably learned, you know, in my several years of life. So uh, today we're going to talk um, a little bit about an initiative we started three years ago, um, and it's definitely been a labor of love, primarily um, by Amanda Delp, who just gave a fantastic presentation. So um, she deserves a, a round of applause for putting this all together. So for starters, quick raise of hands. Who here has actually visited the Rail Research Compendium? Awesome, fantastic. I hope it was useful. Uh, it's a, again, it's a work in progress, so uh, a big part of, of those efforts comes from you all contributing to it. Um, so I wanna thank the members, particularly um, from this room that have contributed over the past year um, and the years before. Thank you very much. Keep the suggestions coming, okay? We'll get them uh, verified and uploaded as fast as we can. Uh, with the rest of my time today, I'm going to elucidate the ease and the functionality of the Rail Research Compendium. Uh, the Compendium, it serves not only as a, a literal depository uh, of rail industry research, uh, but it also indirectly serves as a modality to propel your research, the rail research industry community, into the 21st century. Uh, that's really a goal of ours. So it, it helps um, us collect research of yesteryear and to propel us forward into uh, informed research anew. So let's, let's keep at it. So how do you access this wonderful compendium? Uh, from our website, which I, I know all you have bookmarked on your, your browser pages, uh, cbpp.georgetown.edu, uh, you go to the research tab. Uh, you will not see those beautiful yellow arrows when you open the page, but uh, those are indicators of, of how to actually re, uh, access the compendium. Uh, I, I am a, a creature of simplicity, so the big blue button really sticks out to me, so that's, the, that's where I click. Uh, so if, you, if you, you click there, and you will notice a, a beautiful interface, or what I consider is beautiful. And w what you see up front um, is, is, is pretty. Uh, the algorithm behind it that you can't see is probably even more beautiful. And that allows you to search by keyword, subject area, author last name, published dates, journal, or any combination of those. Um, <clears throat> for example, if I do a quick search by subject on something that I kind of understand, for example, would be regulation and deregulation. So as you can see, you can search either the upper uh, right corner there, the arrow, you can click there, subject arrow, you can click the, the picture. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is what we'll get. Uh, all the results from the compendium for that subject area on regulation and deregulation. Once you arrive at the results for de uh, regulation and deregulation, uh, you, they'll come sorted, as you can see, by author, title, or date. And you can sort by, uh, essentially, you, you pick your poison there. Um, and say, I do a sort by author, I'll get this. And say you want to do some railroad research on Anne Friedlander, the, uh, the pioneer in research. Um, so you'd click, see the arrow, click on Anne Friedlander, and then it'll repopulate. And then you can drill down even further into your area of particular interest or desire. Uh, for example, say I wanted to compare Freelander's analysis of coal rates, something I understand a little bit, um, from back in 92 to current day analyses. So you'd click on that article, if it advances. There we go. And you can then see the various avenues. I can uh, go down and find the article, and you, know, you can click in these various search fields. Um, I know I want this article. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the publication link uh, where it says uh, JSTOR. Now, I have, as I introduced, I have the blessing of working at Georgetown. Every time I log into my computer, I'm automatically logged into our, our library, um, uh, the, the, the web of our library at Georgetown. So I already am in JSTOR. Your 
respective institutions or wherever you all reside um, may not take you directly in there, so you just know that you can source it um, through logging into JSTOR. So I can get in there, I have what I want, um, and there are many of other ways you can get to the article you want, but I just showed you one particular avenue. Um, so there are always more articles, more journals, more links that we want to upload in the compendium. So a big part of that, again, comes from you, your colleagues, please share this. There was a flyer that uh, was attached that has the, the bit, um, the short URL to access this compendium. Um, and you can access our suggestion um, tab on our webpage. It's in the, the left side there, as you can see, the, our friendly yellow arrows. Uh, we'll point you there again. Uh, it populates a Google form. Um, several of you in the room have, have already utilized this feature. And the Google form, as we, I'm sure all know, comes directly, it's in real time. So we'll get that information, uh, we'll vet it, and then uh, get into the compendium as, as quickly as we can.